There's a llama lash, and there's a llama lurch. Oh, yeah. Could you explain what either of those are? The lash is like when you have a receipt and you're going to let me steal it when I get my wind up going and then I lean. Okay. Uh huh. The lurch is if you've put it in, you know, out of reach and you've taunted me and then I have to really rev up and throw my whole body into it while you're driving, right? Whilst driving, yes. Okay. Do you want me to do that for the show? Well, they're not going to be able to see it. They're just going to hear the mic crash and hit the floor. I'm just going to tell them when you least expect it. Oh, okay. She started naming her anime moves, and apparently they, her theme is llama. Yeah, llama. Llama lash. Llama tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. Okay, so today, Hunter and I are in the car. Ooh, I hate those things. Not cars, but the critter. I hate cars. And um, I decide to buy him lunch, okay? And then he's like, I hand him the receipt just to hold it because, you know, I don't want to have trash in my new car. And so he goes, oh, okay, I owe you eleven thirty-five. I'm like, no, you don't. Yes, I do. And then he moves the receipt across the car from me, all right? So I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to be responsible. But this man is making me crazy. So I decide it's time to teach him a lesson. A llama lesson. So, <laughs> while facing forward, I start to rock back and forth from the waist up, okay? Work with me. Keep your hands on the steering wheel, though. Back and forth. Then when you get your momentum, you lurch, I mean lash, to the right, okay? And then you reach out your right arm to snag the receipt. Well... Hunter just happens to be wiry and able to move quickly, so the llama lash didn't work. So then he thought that he was funny and better than me, and he moved the receipt. So I said, oh, I can up this. I can go to the llama lurch. So I start rocking again, back and forth, left to right, left to right, left to right. Now I really got momentum. I'm moving. I'm cooking. The car's rocking. She was cooking. And I just randomly reach over really fast and i almost had it but she didn't i think well, that's the important part that we i need was to take still home. trying to drive too i was you know trying to not kill us whilst doing my epic move yeah she was making poor decisions on the street while she was doing this and now there's incriminating evidence you know on the internet no one really cares that you're such a namby pamby i'm not a tattle taily i am not a namby pamby you take that back right now no, you're a tattle taily because right there i'm just telling them about a move and then you have to get all you know you aren't paying attention well you people need evidence. to learn from your mistake i didn't make a mistake you could have and it could have cost didn't. someone's life no mistakes were made it was flawless like my uh attack on that black knight right there yes sort of similar but mine was way more epic -er. It was not. So if you out there feel the need to use my llama lash or llama lurch, <laughs> you have my blessing. And but just <laughs> let me know how it works for you, because it's quite a move. And if you still have no idea what she's talking about after all this time, please let us know. I, I want to know. He just thinks that you can't comprehend <laughs> what I'm saying. Don't make me. Don't make it sound like I'm questioning my viewers. But you are. My viewers who I, I know, love. I know. They know exactly what I'm talking about because they're epic. So we're checking all these um, treasure chests for what? We got loot. Loot. Amazing what kind of loot? loot? We got good loot. What kind of good loot? Uh, we got a hammer from one of the bosses of the first game. Okay. We got a ring that we're not going to use. Well, then that's not good loot. And we got a divine blessing. Oh, I like divine blessings. We're probably never going to use that either. Well, but there's just something special about a divine blessing. Yeah. Okay, this part sucks. There's uh -oh. a lot of those dogs on these stairs. Oh, and okay. This this part's pretty pretty well known for right. being absolutely terrible. Okay, well, so, let's get ready. Buckle up, buttercups. We're going to have a bumpy ride. We are, because the dogs suck. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, who's that? Zoro. Did we get attacked by someone? Well, we are right now by that red guy. No, I'm talking about another player. I didn't see no other player. Did you? This guy's not moving like a real person. I think he's part of the game. Who? Who boy. That was some excitement right off the bat, wasn't it? 
This this episode's off to quite the hootin' nanny, I'm baby. I'm telling you what. Grab your cousin, dance around the co the, co the country floor, and go zooey, mama. Okay. That's how we do it here in the big city. <laughs> what was on his head? Uh, a hood. Oh. To keep his whittle ears warm in the okay, cold so winter it's months. It's absolutely freezing in the studio tonight. Freezing. So, I was going to put something warm on because it's freezing. And my dog is Ugh. very short haired, you know, miniature dachshund. So, I put a sweater on him. Well, he got God. confused and thought we were going for one of those W-A-L-Ks. And I had to strip him of his sweater for him to finally back down. The dog's in here right now, which is why she had to spell it out. There we go. And he was using his llama lurch, so I had to... <laughs> I had to tackle him. I had to peel him like a banana. That dog is dead. Uh-uh. She peeled the dog. Oh, your right. dog, not my dog. No, I was talking about Loki. No, Loki's not dead. Oh. He's just over here being sad because he didn't get what he wanted. Well, we're past the super annoying part. Well, so. that wasn't hardly annoying at all. It went way faster this time. Wee! Oh, okay, that makes more sense. We unlocked a shortcut. We like that! We sure do. Dang, I have 51,000 souls I can use. Well, I have a story. Oh, really? Yes. Why don't you continue to speak? A friend of mine works in a daycare. That's such a good story. Let everyone rate that on a scale of 1 to 10 for and how good I've of a done. story. Oh, okay, my bad. And on this particular morning, we will call the child Little Johnny. Okay. I like Little Johnny. Little Johnny comes running up to my friend, and in his hands is a Play-Doh penis. <laughs> penis erecti, to be exact. Okay. And it <laughs> is like perfect. Terms. It's like anatom anatomically correct. Okay? And so all these parents are standing around, and my friend of the daycare worker is like, holy moly, we got to get this quashed. So, <laughs> she takes her hand and starts to deflate the penile erecti. Okay. And the look of horror on that kid's face. I mean, he worked so hard to make this. And she's just smushed it. Life is cruel. So, she says to little Johnny, little Johnny, that's something we do at home. We don't do that at daycare. So, the next day, next night. She gets a phone call from the kid's babysitter saying, did you tell little Johnny he can make <laughs> Play-Doh penises at home? She's like, yes, I did. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, little Johnny, man. Little He's... Johnny. Okay, now that the story is complete, rate that story oh. on a scale of one to ten. Bagunga ganga gings. What are a goonga ganga gings? No, bagunga ganga gings. Oh, it's a bagunga ganga gings. It's whatever your heart dictates. Oh. You give a lot of freedom here. That's nice. Freedom is needed in the freedom. times. Freedom! 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 Freedom. It's a wild thing. What is? Freedom. What do you think? It's the <sighs> subject of the sentence. Oh, well, I, I was kind of... Wow, that was just... She failed her uh, English class in well, high school. I didn't. It's just that that took a lot out of me. That was a beautiful way of expressing freedom. I think you did a great job. I did too. Look, a gorgeous view ahead. It is quite gorgeous. I would live there. I would live there too. I would uh, get a job as a shoemaker and oh. earn eight pounds a second. I would be a candy maker. Why? Because a town like that, they need some sweets. They do. It just looks like it needs like those glass jars of really pretty colored sweets. Oh, yes. The nondescript. The fancy candies. The nondescript spheres. Yes. Of sugar. Oh, like those ever loving gobstoppers. Everlasting, from, not oh. ever loving. <laughs> you put this in your mouth and you will never feel disappointed by others. <laughs> you will feel love forever. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll suck I on one of those. I need about three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you only need I one. I don't know my candies very well. Maybe I should not be a candy. Candy a tear? Is that what it's called? I think it's uh, a wonkomatic. Now I know what a wonkomatic is. Is that a thing? 
know. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know what it is. <laughs> She's lying. I caught her earlier today saying she loves lying. So I did not. You said that. I heard you. You, you cannot are not being deny. Very nice. I can deny no, it. No, you can. That, I'm sitting here denying it right now. That will be right contempt now. of court. Well, send me to court. I mean, contempt. I mean, jail. <laughs> I guess all three of those is kind of just the order in They're which intertwined. crap. You go to court. You go to contempt. Then you get found in contempt. Then you go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. <laughs> I love Monopoly. We have not played your One Piece Monopoly. Well, that's because it's... it's over a year old. Well, it's almost a year it's old. It's in prime condition. Well, you're never going to play it? Of course I'm going to play it. Just Are someday. Are you just keeping it to sell? No. That's wrong. I know it's wrong. That's why I said I'm not doing that. But yet, we still haven't played it. We've played Doc Oct Octoply? Octum what are you talking about? My Dr. Docs Octopus did no, not invent Monopoly. No, my Doxinopoly? Yeah, that, that your old girlfriend gave me for Christmas. Yeah, she was very old. She was 95. She was <laughs> not. Your elderly girlfriend. No. We're about to attempt the boss. Already? Oh, yeah. We're, this is the end of uh, this beautiful place, unfortunately. Now, wow. everyone, do that not judge sad. me. Okay. I am terrible at Pontiff Sullivan. I have never beat him by myself, so we are going to be using summons for this fight. If anyone has a problem with that, uh -oh. you're going to have to get over it. Well, I believe in you. Thank you. But you should believe in Black Hand Goddard. I don't know who Black Handed Goddard is. He's the one who's probably going to carry this fight for us. But I believe in you. Uh, you there's Pontiff. Is he just a man? He is just a man, but he's a very scary magic man. I'm not uh, afraid of him. Did you see that llama lurch he did? Yeah, but he didn't do it right. <laughs> he didn't rock back and forth. You gotta, you gotta work your way up to that. And it's left to right. It's not a forward thing. Well. No, there's no well. He did it wrong. Sorry. And he didn't spit. Everybody knows llama spit. You spit? Yes. When I do my llama lurch, I spit. Oh, do you remember when I said you scratched me in the car earlier today? Yes. You left a mark. <gasps> I did? <laughs> yeah. For my llama lurch? Oh my god. Okay, second phase. I don't even know how this guy works, but look, he's got black tree wings now, and there's two of him. And how does he have two swords at- What? Now how are you supposed to fight something you can't even tell what it is? That's why I this is summon. Wrong. <laughs> That's why I summon people because I have no idea how this fight actually works. I don't either. It's very confusing. Okay, I think his like double goes first, and then he does the exact same thing afterwards. Oh, he needs somebody to show him how to fight. Well, he should have asked me. <laughs> oh, he's a loser. I could have taught him how to llama lurch correctly. Now that was kind of better when he went to the right there. Uh, yeah, yeah, what you said. Sorry, this I don't know what you no, said. No, this is intense. This is a really cool fight. Someday well, I'll beat this game friend. without summons, but that's not anytime soon. There's one more hit. One more hit. Pontiff Sullivan. Oh, you did it. We did it. You did it. I can't believe you we did it. You said you've never it. done it before without help. I had help. Well, just a little. It's still help, though. You focus too much on that. I think you did fantastically. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, who got the last hit in? You did. That's something that killed it. The last is the easiest hit, though. Is it? Yeah. Huh. <gasps> well, all I know is that guy did not do the llama lurch right. All right. Uh, do you remember the Golden City in Orlando from the first I game? I do. We're going back there. <gasps> we are? But it's not the Golden City anymore. What happened? I, I don't know the lore, did unfortunately. Did it get tarnished? No. Well, mm, I guess it's kind of just stuck in the shadows, I guess. Oh. I didn't know it was Anne Orlando because I didn't. Well, we do now. <laughs> that kind of checks out. Oh, is that one of those crystal lizards? It sure is. Oh, yo! That's how you do it. That is how you do it. All right. We're all. This is how there it we is. do it. Look. Anne Orlando. In darkness. The second boss is at the top of that tower over there. Well, let's get up there and kick some butt. I'll try to. I don't remember this very well. Oh, oh boy, you really slammed that guy. I did. Wow. Oh, oh, he reached out for you like he was going to grab wow, you that first. Was, that was I don't some like damage. that guy. Stay away from him, Hunter. I'm trying, but I'm a 
I am a melee build. I have to get up close and personal. Well, I'm sorry, but he was not nice. I have to know how his breath Excuse smells me. so I can know the best way to take him out. Ew, I don't want to smell anybody's breath. Oh, come on. Who are these people? And what do they want with us? Oh, this is a player. You can tell by his intelligent movement. Oh, shoot. We're lagging, too. Oh, this is bull crap. What the heck is that about? What'd we ever do to him? You need to llama lurch him into next week. This game, the game is lagging. You show him who we are. Uh, can I get some background music, Mom? What do you want to hear? Whatever you want to play. Uh, this is how we do it. We take our sword. Our sword. We lift it high. We lift it high. And we jam it in your brain. Uh. How's that? Keep going. The fight's still going. Oh. Um, and then we pull it out. And then lick your blood. And then we lift it high. Lift it high. Bring it low. Bring it low. Burn you slow. Burn you slow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That is how we do it. This is how we do it. Come on, come on, come do on. Do it, Hunter, do I it. I can feel the power we of my musical know mother. You can do it. Oh, slam. Oh. Come on. Ga, 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 ga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yes. oh. Get no, him. he parried. Oh, oh you scumbag. That loser. That dude's a scumbag. Oh, don't bow. Don't bow. Don't mock us. He was about to sit down, too. That piece of trash. He's a piece of trash. He is a piece of trash. A sneaky, nasty, moldy piece of trash. Kind of like that lemon. We had lemonade, but one of them was covered in the mold. The furry green mold. I think I saw a couple particles float off and f up your nose. You did not. I did. My eyes don't deceive me. I have very good vision. I think it's now 20 my, times now 20. my nose burns. Thanks a lot, Hunter. Well, that's the truth. Power of suggestion. I suggest that you give me $200. I don't fall for that one. Yeah, it's not that powerful. Ooh, that was a straight shot. It wasn't, though, because it missed. Ow. Oh, well, that's what you got for being snarky. I'm not snarky. I'm, um... Sassy? Bodacious. Rude? Radical. Uh-huh. Can I get a Hoya? I don't think so. You should give me a Hoya. Why? Because it's awesome. Just do it for the show. Oh, yeah. There it is. We're Ooh. off our rockers today. We're rocking offers. We rocked a little too hard, and now our rocking chairs are broken. Oh! Whoa, surprise. I forgot about that, forgot about that guy. Surprise. Come at me, Severus Snape. Well, he does kind of remind me of him. He looks a little like... Oh, there's like another him. one! Yeah, but one's already almost dead. What's the one guy's weapon? It looks like a bubble blower. They're maces. Oh, it looked like a bubble blower. All bubble blowing babies will be beaten senseless by any able-bodied person in the bar. The bar. You scare me just a little bit. It's a Spongebob quote. Come on. Well, I didn't watch all of that much it's SpongeBob. It's the movie! You've seen the movie like 12 times with me. Well? I thought she was a fan, guys. I'm sorry. I tried you to raise what? her right. You do not have to apologize for me. I tried to raise her right. I, I can I can get along on my own. I may not be the hippest Woo! cat in the room, but I, I do okay for a 60-year-old uh, woman. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty epic. I, I can handle myself. <laughs> she can handle herself. Yes, I can. She's got reins, and the way she steers herself all day is by pulling on them. That's it doesn't make any sense at all. It's how you... Ne never mind. Yeah, never mind. It wasn't good. I it acknowledge that good. one. We're being shot at by every direction. So are we going up towards the boss? We're working our way up, up there. Up. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah, it's the Silver Knight. I like the Silver Knight. Yo, dragon great bow. Ow, your sword, though. Ugh. He's kind of lunges, but he lunges forward, not sideways. It's so more it's... of an alpaca hop than a long lunge. Yeah, that's lunge. more of an alpaca. You're right. You I know my stuff. Right. I knew you were there, sir. Allow he me. He anticipated Ow. you, sir. Oblige me with the benefit of your. I know that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. Well, uh, at least you remembered something. 
That's sweet. It's better than me. I don't even know my name. You don't? No, I was I'm talking so from your perspective. I know my name. She my knows name her is name. Teresa. That and that's isn't... no lie. Yeah. And I'll be Teresa till the day I die. Right on, right on. 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 Backstab! Oh, that was bloody. Up the anus, shish kebab. <laughs> He's lucky it wasn't flaming. Woo. Ooh, that's like uh, eating that Taco Bell. That is like no. eating that Taco Bell. I ended the last session with a Taco Bell joke. I can't do another one. Oh, sorry. No, I mean, you have no reason to apologize. But look, fake statue. See, I prefer Taco Gringo. I don't like Mexican food. I love Mexican. I like the American version of it. I think you don't like Mexican because when I was pregnant with you, all I ate was spicy Mexican. You loved it as an embryo. <laughs> as a little fetal man, you craved the tacos and, and I'd burritos. And i like, this is so hot, but the baby wants it. But the baby wants it. The baby wants what the baby wants. And the baby gets what the baby gets. And so it was spicy Mexicana. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay. I don't know if that's considered ay, racist ay, or not. Andale, andale. Chupapi un ñaño. <laughs> <laughs> that's not real Mexican. I know it sounds like it, but it's it not. It did sound like it. It was awesome. 